Hello YouTube, T Spam here, and uh, going to continue on with the tutorial with Stage Flight. Um, just all right. Now, here's a good lesson: when coming back to your work after you've taken a break, in order to load up your song, come up to Menu, File, Open Song, and you can select it or open your recent songs. And there's tutorial right there. Then we let that load. Um, this video is going to focus on adding the mid range to sort of fill up the song and add a little bit of meat to the skin and bones. So we're going to want to add a new track. And again, like the last video, I like the analog synth. It's just simple. So I'll add that in. My original misconception when I was first messing with this was that you could use chords on your songs. Um, this was in D. So, um, here we go. Here's a good example. Of, see how that played? Now, um, just a simple D chord. But when you listen to it, I'll solo this. You only get the top note. So, because of that, you have to have a different track for every level of your chord. Which expands the song, but it is... it's doable. And it keeps everything simpler in the long run. So, for the mid-ranged area, I like to keep it between D2, well, the second octave and the third octave, but that's just personal preference. So I'll go down to D2, there we go. And now I'll take this off of solo. And while I'm at it, solo is the S button, the M means mute, and uh, so yeah, solo, mute. So now let's space bar to uh, play the song. All right. Now let's see here. Again, this is where the creativity comes into it. So uh, we'll just see what comes of it. Also, when doing this, you want to be sure and, like, you don't want to put the first note of a chord, the second note of a chord, and then the third note of a chord all in the same line. You're going to want to make sure, because when the key changes, like, one, four, five, you want to keep either the first, third, or fifth note of the chord is what you're playing on that line, just to keep it all organized. I found that out the hard way. I'm messing around with it. So, I'll just uh, I'll start with the top note in the chord. That way it sounds different. Okay. And This is also where the music theory comes in. You have to start thinking about the construction of chords. But again, this is just my personal preference for songs. So. sounds pretty interesting. Alright, and so I'll close 
that. And again, save song. Now build on that chord. New instrument. Add. Let that load. Now this time, I'll do exactly the same thing that I did with the other one. So come down to uh, D2 through D3. This time, I'll use the second note of the chord. That way it just sounds nice. And uh, keep it straight. D. Also, one thing, I could have just dragged it over, but I find it much quicker, to quick, much quicker to just, if I misplace it, just double click it and double click again. Again, personal preference, but that's just how I do that. There we go, and then... sounds a little bit too dark for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transpose this a little bit. Send it up an octave so it doesn't sound so dark. Actually, just for sake of curiosity, I'm going to listen to it like this. is actually the ba uh, the one note, as it were. Let that load. Okay. Now, because it's, I thought it sounded a little bit too dark earlier, I'm going to actually send it up a little bit higher than I normally would. So I'll put it on the D3 instead of the D2. Basically what I'm doing is I'm putting all of this into a first inversion type sound, which again is a little bit of music theory that most people probably don't care about. There we go. And so it gets quicker as it goes on. sure I didn't actually accidentally double up on two notes and leave anything out. Uh, a, E, D. There we go. Close. F, C, B. Close. And then D, A, G. So, yes. Um, it is all good. Um, close that. There we go. 
and so now instead of just having the uh, Sorry, skin and bones right there. We have a little bit of meat now. Now, granted, this is a uh, this is a pretty hokey song. It is a song now, and uh, again, just for demonstration purposes. I think it's a pretty good song. So, uh, now you can go out and you can make your own songs. And I'll explain more in-depth songs in another future tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you come back next time.